Nerves. Um, big word. We all struggle <laughs> with them. Um, how do we control them? One of the things that you can do is, is um, a breathing exercise called box breathing. And so what that does mm -hmm. is it's, it's very simple. You count to four, uh, inhale to a count of four, hold your breath to a count of four, exhale to a count of four, and hold your breath to a count of four and repeat. And what that does is when the reason you count is because when you're focusing on the count, now all of a sudden you're not thinking about what the mm -hmm. other thing. And once again, this has to be trained because you'll go one and then start thinking about something <laughs> else. And it's like, whoa, come back. <laughs> and that's where the training has to come in. But if you can focus on that count, then that helps the mind be right here. What's more present moment than breathing, right? Inhaling and exhaling air. The other thing that happens, uh, the other good side effect of that is generally when we're up tight and tense and feeling those nerves, we are breathing extremely shallow and just which is creating even more tension. Mm -hmm. So as we breathe and we focus on that breathing, we're, we're opening it up generally a little bit more. And as we breathe like that, it's naturally calming the body as well. So box breathing is a really good thing. It gives the mind something to think about. So maybe it's not so mm -hmm. wild thinking about yeah, the things. It's a good, simple exercise. And it's having a calming effect Phys a calming physiological effect on the body. It's funny you say that because uh, Dan Hansen, who many cutters will, all cutters will know, uh, a great non-pro competitor. I know Dan when he was cutting. Uh, every time he would quit his first cow, where he would turn around, face the herd, he would count to five. Wow! And he wow. won the non-pro world title. I don't know how many times. Wow! But that's cool. Th that just supports wow. that exercise. He would count to five again, just to identify. What's going on? Where he's at? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a, that's it's a great exercise. Can I add to that real quick? Because one of the things that I meant to say when we were talking about uh, mental rehearsal is mental rehearsal is good ahead of time. It's not what you want to be doing right when mm -hmm. you're riding into the arena. What you want to be doing when you're riding into the arena is being right here, right now. The training is done. What we need to do now is get out of our own way mm -hmm. to allow all the training and all the mm -hmm. input to just come out, to, be re to, to respond to the, to the task at hand and to be fluid and ready to just do whatever we need to do. And so what I've noticed, I used to do this wrong and even advise people wrong, so I'm sorry if I told you wrong. <laughs> um, but but rather than doing that imagery you know, right before you're going in, What's most important is being right here, right now, being calm and being here and just trusting what you've done to just come out. Grant Setnick has got a wonderful quote, trust the process. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and so what you're saying there is basically do all your mantras before you get in the yeah. alleyway yeah. or yeah. before you're crossing the timeline. You've yeah. already got that done. That's clear. Yeah. That's done. That's ingrained. That's in your subconscious. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now it's just be present yeah. and do, you, yeah. do the, it was a box Box, box breathing. breathing. Yeah, it's basically get out of your own way. Yeah. Yeah. Get out yeah. of your own way and just let the part of you that has spent the hours and hours mm -hmm. and hours of training and, and been through difficult things, let that come out. So, you know, in the inner game of tennis, there's self one and self two and other books that you read, the performer self or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. The the analytical part can can kind of be taken care of by giving it that one thing maybe mm -hmm. to think about to, to do put your hands here drive by look here whatever but or focus on, on the count and when that part of your brain is busy and has something to do the other part can come out that takes care of everything yeah. else as long as you've prepared as long as you prepare <laughs> yeah and, and i think also steve you touch i bet once you started gaining control of your mind you probably started really enjoying it Yes, Better. and I will say, you know, people always think, okay, well, I did all this, I prepared, I've been doing this for years. Why am I falling back? Why am I struggling now? You don't ever just get good and don't stop. This is a daily thing. I mean, nice. Are there some books or some people that you could advise that you well, that you have yeah. sort of tapped into and enjoyed reading? Yeah, there. I can think of two people off the top of my head. I've read a a lot of them and I follow a lot of them. Pod I love podcasts. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, there's so many great ones.
But the two that I really like to follow, um, I alluded to him already, Michael Gervais, mm-hmm. G-E-R-V-A-I-S. He is a sports psychologist and um, he most recently had been working at the Seattle Seahawks. He has a, a program with some other Olympians that they take to businesses and stuff that people can actually go through. Uh, maybe an eight or 12 week program, I've, I've been through it. Um, and I really like it. It starts at the beginning about identity and like Stevie talked about separating mm-hmm. who you are from what you do. And that, that's a big piece mm-hmm. of a lot of this. Um, and working all